It's my 8x12 floating dock. I used 10 barrels according to the math to get the barrel half submerged. You're looking at a ton of weight it can hold. Um, the second one I built, the first one while I was building it, uh, someone someone offered me $750 for it. It was just a bare frame, drum strapped with galvanized straps. So I took that money, reinvested, built a brand new treated 2x6, 8 by 12 frame, 16 inch centers. And instead of galvanized straps, I got a few extra barrels, cut some strips to cinch the barrels down. Added some treated 2x4s to stop the drums from moving. The drums are trapped in between the 2x6s, not going anywhere. To install the strap, this is what I call the dead side. Install the dead side first. Three screws, stainless washers, and this is coated deck screws. Probably should have gone with stainless screws. Got a little bug right here. Anyway, to install the straps, you secure the dead side. Get the drum where you want it first. Make sure your orientation is where you want it. You secure the two straps, one on each side. Throw it over. Then uh, this is a half inch hole. I drill my hole in the in, where, where this two by six line is. And I stick a screwdriver in there and I pull down and it tightens, tightens the strap down and I put this one screw. I pull the screwdriver out, the strap stays and it's got a big gap right here. And when you put these screws down, it goes down tighter. Little little buddy came back. Hey. Anyway, when you put these these two screws, it senses the straps down tighter. It's not going anywhere. I can't move it by hand very easily. The whole thing moves. So uh, I built it like a heavy duty deck as if you would a, a deck at your house. Uh, this way it can take a lot of weight, it's strong and solid. I use a uh, four inch deck screws, coated throughout the whole thing and these are some two inch screws with stainless steel washers. Right now I got a balance on the trailer so one hand I can easily lift it and tilt it. So you can see the, the underside. I've got five more drums left to secure and then I'm going to go figure out a way to get it flipped over. I'm not going to put the deck boards on until it's in the water. And I'm uh, waiting to hear back in Wildland Fisheries about what I have to do to get, get the registration in Louisiana to get papers on it to motorize it. But uh, I'll update when there's more, really, it's just a boring process of me strapping everything down and I got to figure out a way to turn it over. Uh, six barrels would have been plenty just for a floating dock. The, the guy that bought the first one, it was the same size, same amount of drums. Uh, he launched it just, just like this and it, it drew one inch of water on its own weight. It's about probably about 350 pounds, maybe 400 pounds as is. Between just the 2x12s and the, the drums ain't at like 15 pounds a piece. I drew an inch of water. He put um, 12 foot long composite deck boards all the way across it and he said it only drives 3 inches of water and when you walk on it the dock doesn't barely move. Um, he says if you step on one corner the other corner may rise a half an inch which is a 200 pound body weight standing on a corner. So it's gonna be a very stable platform. Uh, like I said, six drums would have worked just fine. Six drums would put you at, uh, I think, a thousand pound capacity. And uh, 10 drums, uh, I, can I can do at least 2,000. Which I don't plan on putting a ton of weight on here, but if you want to put 10 people in here, you shouldn't have no issues. I'll update when I got more.